hey YouTube, how's it going? I know I haven't done any Black Ops Zombies mod in a while, but today I am doing another one for Black Ops 1. I know I should be doing one for Black Ops 2, but I'm pretty sure you guys don't want ISO mods or JTAG mods, so I that's why I haven't done them. I was going to make them, and a lot of you guys have been questioning why I didn't do them. That's because the only ones that I could give you guys were ISO, RGH, and JTAG. And I don't know anybody who wanted those. They just wanted USB, so I just kind of said forget it. Sorry about that, you guys. But okay, so let's get on with the USB tutorial for Black Ops 1. You guys are probably going to ask, why am I doing the same tutorial over again? Well, actually, these are updated. The ones before, they were... Uh, they would crash every so often and your game would freeze. These ones are more updated. They're basically up to date. Same controls, same everything, but just it's more stable. But basically what you guys are going to want to do is download the zip file from the description. And then also you're going to want your game a game save from Black Ops. So what you're going to want to do next is after you've extracted your game save onto your Actually, you know what, you don't even have to extract it, but you know what, I did anyways. What you're going to want to do is take all the contents, except for the controller layout and the readme, and you're going to extract that to your desktop. So now here's the modded stuff, and then here's my game save. So you're going to want to drag the modded game save into Horizon, drag it over here on the left, and then you're going to want to drag yours over here on the right. Basically, all you're going to want to do is copy your content into the modded content. I'm just doing Control A, Control C. Then when I go over here, I do Control A and Control V. So basically, copying and pasting. Uh, you're going to save, hash, and resign. And this is the modded one, so we're going to save that to the device. Going to hit yes and. Uh, it should successfully transfer. After you've done that, all you're going to want to do is drag the profile, which is the long E O O O file. Let's go ahead and just save, rehash, and resign that. And let's go ahead and save that to the flash drive. Uh, if it asks you to overwrite, go ahead and hit yes. Then that's the end. Basically, that's it for this tutorial, you guys. Uh, I know if you guys need more help on how to load up these mods, I can. you can either continue watching. Hey YouTube, I am back and what we're going to want to do is simply load up Call of Duty. Make sure your USB is plugged in at this time, otherwise it may not like work. So make sure it's started up and plugged in. So you're going to go ahead and press start. And you're going to go and select your USB or your memory unit. Go ahead and go under campaign and resume game. Go ahead and click yes. At this time, you're going to want to plug in your second controller, but you're not going to want to like press anything on the second controller. Just plug it in or turn it on. When it says hold A to skip, we're going to go ahead and skip. Now go ahead and click the middle button on the second controller, click sign in, and sign in to the gamer tutorials. If it asks you to select an avatar, just select a random avatar, it don't matter. If it gives you like, cannot connect to Xbox Live, don't worry about it, just click the middle button, or no. Now on the first controller, you're just going to hit resume. You're going to hit the select button. And you will notice the mods are activated. Oh, 
I, I can simply just fly around. I can do whatever I want. I'm not going to go too far on this, but now what you're going to want to do is hit the middle button. Because you can't hit start, it won't let you. You're going to go ahead and save and quit. Now during this time, you're going to hit the middle button on the second controller and sign out. What you're going to want to do now is go under Zombies, and you can do Solo, Split Screen, Xbox Live, System Link, whatever you want to do. I'm going to do Solo because I'm not connected to Xbox Live at the time. And you're going to select any map you want, it doesn't matter. I wouldn't do the arcade though because I don't think that works. As you will notice, at the top right, there is, there is a number 60 that stands for the frame rate. You're just going to hit select, and you'll know it's modded. And if you hit down, that's God mode. Uh, I don't know all the controls. Left is no target, right is UFO. Then you can just fly around, you can turn on the power if you'd like. I am new to these mods, like literally, I just learned how to do these maybe 10 minutes before this video. I just wanted to show you guys before I got carried away with them. But yep, that's it you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's some limited ammo. The controls in the description, actually in the uh, downloaded file, and that will teach you how to use the mods and different kind of mods that you can use. I personally haven't even figured out how to use all the mods yet, but there's quite a bit. Uh, yeah, there's a lot you guys can do, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. We got to